Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today's topic is going to be my five tips about how you can go and stay vegan. Tip number one is to start small. Now if you're coming from a standard American diet where you eat a lot of meat, dairy, and eggs, it can be hard to transition immediately overnight to a whole foods plant-based diet. However, if you want to go vegan, even changing one of your meals a day in the beginning can make a huge difference. Even if you transition from eating all sorts of meat to just being vegetarian, eating dairy and eggs, and then cutting out dairy, and then cutting out eggs, it's still a step in the right direction. As long as you have veganism as the end goal, I personally don't think that there is anything wrong with slowly eliminating things from your diet because it is harder to quit something overnight. Like just like how it's really hard to quit smoking overnight, it can be as difficult to just automatically eliminate all meat, dairy, and eggs from your diet as well. And it does take practice learning to read nutritional labels as well, but all of that comes with time. So if you make a mistake in the beginning and accidentally eat something that isn't vegan, don't stress out about it. Like move on and it's okay as long as you're making the effort to make conscious choices about your food i think it's all good there are also a lot of different eating styles within the vegan diet and if you're coming to it for the first time it can seem kind of overwhelming such as 80 10 10 people who eat mostly starches and you have the raw vegans who eat only raw fruits and vegetables i know even for me when i first decided to go vegan i was kind of confused as to what i could eat and what i couldn't eat but bottom line, as long as it doesn't come from an animal and no beings were harmed in the production of it, it's vegan and you can eat it. Now these foods may not be the best for your health, which is why after you become accustomed to a vegan lifestyle, I would suggest transitioning to a more high carb, low fat lifestyle of whole plant based foods that is eliminating all of the processed like fatty foods and refined sugars in your diet just because this is the diet that is best for your health and will help you feel the best and most energetic and able to take on what life throws at you. My second tip is to educate yourself. You'll be much more motivated to maintain a vegan diet and to start a vegan diet if you actually know the facts behind it and it will be a lot easier to explain your lifestyle and dietary choices to your family and friends if they have any questions or concerns about what you're doing. I'm going to link a few resources in the down bar but I think watching documentaries is one of the best things you can do because it provides you with the information but also provides you with a visual picture so for that I'd recommend Cowspiracy for the environment earthlings to learn about the ethical treatment of all animals and I'd also recommend forks over knives to learn about the health aspects of a vegan diet my third tip is to get creative a lot of people think of a vegan diet and think that it's incredibly boring and that we only eat salad and yeah, if we only ate salad, it would be incredibly boring. But there's an abundance of fruit and vegetables of so many different varieties, so many different types that all taste amazing, and I bet you haven't even tried them all yet. But don't feel like you have to go and spend a lot of money on tropical fruits. You can survive on basic cheap staples such as beans, rice, bananas, apples, and seasonal fruits and vegetables depending on where you live. Just like people in the standard American diet add seasonings to their dinners and meals, you can do the exact same. You don't have to eat plain lettuce or plain potatoes. There's a huge variety of spices and seasonings that will make your food taste even more delicious and it'll be cruelty free. If you don't have a lot of spices in your cabinet, it may seem expensive at first when you're buying them from the grocery store, but you need to remember that these are going to last you a really long time and you only need to add a little to add a lot of flavor. Some of my pantry staples are garlic powder, cumin, and rosemary, but everyone has different taste buds, so I suggest you experiment as well and find out the flavors that you like. Also, if you feel like you're really not the best cook and you don't really know what to do with all of the fruits and vegetables, use the internet. There are tons of YouTube channels out there that only show vegan recipes. There are tons of vegan food blogs online. And I also get inspiration just from following a lot of Instagram accounts. If you're interested, I also have a blog where I post a lot of recipes so you can check that out. Or I suggest you check some of the What I Eat in a Day videos on YouTube because those are also really good for inspiration or ideas for meals maybe you haven't thought of before. My fourth tip is to stay active. Now you may be super passionate about veganism right after you watch that documentary or after you learn about the horrors and the cruelty involved in the meat and dairy industries, but if you don't stay active within the community and continue to educate yourself, it is easy to fall sort of flat and you may be more likely to leave the lifestyle. So my advice for you is to find an online supportive community such as Instagram or even through watching videos on YouTube where you can feel connected to more like-minded people and share your thoughts, opinions, and even just have conversations. 
Also, if you find someone who's vegan on Instagram or YouTube who lives near you, you should not be afraid to reach out to them and contact them because a lot of us want to make vegan friends too. Another suggestion I have is to check meetup.com. Odds are there's probably already a vegan group from your area on there. Then they'll have weekly or monthly meetups or they'll have brunches every once in a while or potlucks. So it may seem intimidating at first to go meet a bunch of people who you don't know, but you already have so much in common. I mean, how important is food in your life? It's pretty important in mine and it's an easy thing to talk about. So my advice is to go out there, put yourself out there, make some friends, and what could possibly go wrong? My fifth tip, and I think the most important one to maintain the vegan lifestyle, is to remember why you're vegan and who you're doing it for. Being vegan seems to be kind of trendy at the moment, especially in social media and with younger girls. And going vegan can also help reduce your chronic disease, help you lose weight, and make you feel the greatest that you've ever been. But at the end of the day, it really is all about showing compassion for the animals. Veganism is a lifestyle, not just a diet, where you maximize your compassion towards all beings, humans and animals, and eliminate all excuses to harm or injure another innocent being. I've talked to a few friends about this and they'll say, oh yeah, like I really like being vegan and it makes me feel great, but you know, every once in a while I just want to have a piece of pizza or what if my friends want to go out and get ice cream and I can't go with them? Personally, I don't really think this is a valid excuse because if you really believe in the ethical treatment of animals, you really wouldn't see these meals as treats or cheats because that cow had to die for you in order to eat that hamburger or that baby had to be ripped away from his mother so she could produce milk to make your frozen yogurt or your piece of pizza. And do those eggs really look as great after you learn that baby chicks are literally ground alive because they're of no use to the egg industry? I think it's really important to remember that you vote with your dollar and especially nowadays there are plenty of vegan options on the market and restaurants that you can go to with your friends where you don't have to support the cruel industries. Or you could save money and have your friends over and cook food yourselves or you can go to a park or go to the movies. There are plenty of things to do with your friends that don't involve the death of animals. Alright, those are my five tips. I hope you found them helpful and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!